Uh, sir, we're gonna need a scan form. That's too many packages. Today, uh, I'm gonna show you how to get a scan form. The uh, eBay doesn't give you a real good option. Honestly, I think it could use some work on how to get a scan form, but I'm gonna show you how. Um, it's, it's actually pretty easy once you know how. So to start with, the, the biggest thing to get the scan form, and I'm gonna pop up a sheet here in a few minutes to show you exactly how to pull it up, but to get your scan form, you have to use the bulk shipping tool. If you ship your parts one by one, like we always did, because you have less errors, that's not gonna work. You have to use the, the bulk shipping tool. So you're going to click the boxes on your you know, you pull up your eBay shipping sheet. I'm gonna do this right here so I don't tell you wrong. WWW. We're here in the shipping room. And uh, so when you're doing this, you have to ship more than one part at a time or one item, whatever. Um, this was never an issue when we were a smaller seller, you know, selling four or five parts a week. But as it grew, we started to have an issue with a the scan form at this new post office. So you're gonna go to your print labels and ship and actions, you need to click two or more and then click shipping. Purchase shipping label and it's gonna bring everything up. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is, a, I feel this is more of a pain to ship like this, but it gets us the scan form. So you're gonna put all your stuff in and I, I don't wanna show this sheet just because it shows everyone's address for all these purchases, we or sales that we've made. So on the sheet, you're gonna have, you know, you change it, here's the option, the, the tab, change from priority mail to first class or whatever. If you have, if you only have two packages left, if you have, we'll, we'll just say you ship 20 things today. Two items just sold right before you finished up shipping. So you printed all those out, you're good to go. Well, you wanna still get those packages out today, right? No big deal. What you need to do, if you have, if one of them is UPS and one of them is USPS, still use your bulk shipping tool where you go through and you select them on the little boxes on the left hand side and then go through the process and I'll show you how to do the scan form in just a few few moments and that'll still show on your scan form scan form the USPS packages the scan forms do not work for UPS and the scan forms do not work for FedEx so if you ship we'll just go with a an even number we'll say 20 packages and uh, five of them are UPS, five are FedEx. Your scan form is going to show 10 packages. That's just your USPS. That's your first class. And uh, I'll show you in a few moments what that label looks like as well. All right, so after you've shipped everything through the bulk shipping, you click the box, whatever, this is where you get to. You're gonna go up to the top right hand side and click scan forms you're going to click the generate scan form. Uh, it just says generate, but the blue blue dot, click it. This is what'll come up. Click that, blue box again. Click okay. Go down to the bottom where it says generated scan forms and you gotta click the print. That's the last one. And this is what you're gonna look like. This is what I shipped today. They just scan that and it usually keeps the USPS people pretty happy. All right, so I hope I made that easy enough to understand. If, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll see what I can do to help. Uh, the scan forms, like I said, you have to go through the bulk shipping tool. You cannot ship one by one and use the scan forms. Thanks for watching.